then the day was a wrap. I think it's obvious which outfit was my favorite from what I tried on, but you'll just have to stay tuned to the next vlog to, to see what I actually got. <laughs> was the night before the ski trip, and Anise was finally getting her act together. On that note, let me tell you guys about the ski trip. So this is in celebration of Bay's 40th birthday. Bay is an avid snowboarder, and he has asked me year after year after year to go on a ski trip with him. But I was like, my love, unless it's going to be some luxury chalet where there's a hot tub and I could be popping bottles and looking at some bougie mountains in the distance, I don't think it's going to happen. But you know what? For his birthday, what baby wants, baby gets. And by baby, I mean me. <laughs> So I found this chalet. I had to book it like 10 months in advance, but don't tell me it's not stunning. Okay, now onto our new luggage for our fabulous, luxurious trip. We gotta be matching the vibes. This is by the brand Antler. They are a pretty well-known British luggage company. They have some suitcases, I think particularly the Stamford and the Clifton that have kind of gone like a bit viral with influencers. But your girl is not the most light-handed when it comes to packing. So I'm always gonna choose a soft case because when you gotta put that bad boy on the luggage scale and you gotta keep that weight under 23 kilograms, I'm not trying to have no hard cases add into my weight. And because I'm editing this after we've already traveled, I could let you know that it traveled very well. All right, now let's get to packing. Okay, so I know this is the moment you all have been waiting for. Which ski outfit did she choose? And you guys, I had to go with the PE Nation. I loved, loved, loved these salopettes when I tried them on. And my search for the perfect ski outfit also led me to this super cute coat by the company Jacket. And I am going to put these little bad boys on for you so you can see how the whole fit looks. But before I do that, okay, so basically in the 11th hour, I realized I hadn't gotten any of the stuff that you need to wear under these outer gear. So. I went on Amazon and I ordered a whole bunch of second skin. There's me being confused as hell because I think I accidentally ordered two of the same thing. I like didn't mean to, but you know, we move on. So when it comes to buying things, I'm super meticulous. It's kind of annoying, but if it's something I need for a practical reason, like to stay warm, I will read each and every damn Amazon review there is before I actually order. I also wasn't gonna have time to return these things because like basically I'm living for the trip the next day. So they had to work. This is the first little under gear fit. And yeah, there's my little happy dance because my research paid off and these thermals fit and they also kept me really warm. And I'm someone who's always cold, so. And now for my PE Nation salad pets. Yeah, I was feeling myself when I put this little get down on. Look at me doing my little stupid dance. I'm so excited, I don't even realize that I didn't <laughs> close the belt. But I am loving it, loving it. Are you guys loving it as much as I am? Because I love it. Okay, there we go. Now we have the whole fit all together. Okay, so I didn't actually buy these. Uh, Bay, for some reason, still had some skiing gloves from his ex-girlfriend, so I was about to put them to use. But you know what? Word of advice, don't do that because they were trash and they kept my hands cold all throughout this ski trip. So, <laughs> yeah, don't wear ghosts of ex-girlfriend's past stuff because she'll probably come to haunt you. Okay, y'all know I wanted some moon boots, but they were just like, I don't know, I couldn't justify spending so much money on them when they were only gonna be for a one-time use and Bay and I trying to buy a property. So we gotta save money where we can. My good old trusty Betty Boots by Chloe were clearly just gonna do just fine. So here's the price tag. As you can see, it costs to look cute, but I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. 
online coupons are your friends. Think twice before you decide to buy something in a department store. Because I sure didn't. Okay, my loves, here we have another Amazon find. I had to get me some ski socks. Clearly, I was really loving them because it was bringing out my old ballet moves. Okay, come through, Miss Marvel, Miss Transformer Superhero Bay. Uh, okay, this was another Amazon find. This is a second set of thermals that I got just in case. This one is a bit thinner than the other one. The other set was fleece lined, and this is more like moisture wicking thin stuff, but they also kept me warm. Well, another thing I realized in the 11th hour was I was gonna need clothes clothes, like actual clothing for when I wasn't skiing for this trip. So I did a mini PLT haul and got myself some knits, but also I was gonna be hosting more than a dozen guests in this chalet on this trip. So I had to look cute and look right and have some outfits for our dinners and that thing of the sort. That little pink number was super cute, so I decided to keep it. This one, not so much. I don't really know what was going on. I felt like the sleeves were too small or too short. You know, I wanted to try and like it, tried to pull them bad boys down, but yeah, it was a no for me. Okay, okay. Now we zhuzhing it up a little bit. All right, hostess with the mostess. Yeah, the moment I put this dress on, I knew that this was going to be the dress for our first dinner on the Friday evening, welcoming all our guests. And yeah, bitch. Okay, walk, walk. Look at me walking up in it because I'm feeling myself. <laughs> Okay, I knew that I wanted to go with like a neutral vibe, so I ordered a bunch of neutrals off of Pretty Little Thing, but like half the clothing was see-through because it was Pretty Little Thing, and also a lot more summery. That one was cute, but it was a little bit too small, so it had to go. This one is giving, you know, folksy eldest daughter of a wealthy farmhand and I'm kind of here for it. So I decided to keep this one a little bit wholesome, but in a, you know, I got another side to me kind of way. All right, this one I really wanted to like. It was a nice long sleeve number that was backless, but it was feeling a little bit plain and I was like, can I dress this up a little bit with maybe some gold chain belts around the waist I tried guys I tried but the more I tried I felt like it was giving a bit like costumey Grecian goddess a little bit but costumey so and then you know on top of that again like half of these dresses it was pretty see-through so it was just like we try to make lemonade out of lemons but Sometimes we just go and give the lemons away. Back to Pretty Little Thing. All right, now I want your opinion on this one because as I sit here looking back, I actually really like this, but in the moment, I was just being a bit silly and I was very fixated on the fact that in the vertical reflection, which has different lighting, I seem to have like a bit of a pooch by my belly. And I was like, ah. I was like, I don't want to work out, so <laughs> I'm going to return this. <laughs> don't learn from me, guys. Set your goals and fight for them. So there was no way I was going to invite some 16-odd people out to France to celebrate my man's birthday without having a little something-something guest gift bag for them to take home. So I basically lived on Etsy for like two full days and decided on these little monogrammed toiletry bags for everyone to take home. And I was gonna fill them with a bunch of little goodies, which you're about to see, ranging from chocolates and keychain mementos and, and mid-luxury bath items. There's my baby Lily helping me, obviously. But yeah, so with the rest of this vlog, I'm going to show you guys what my guests got gifted. 
And remember, the birthday boy is a snowboarder, not a skier, so his was a little bit different. And I mean, who doesn't love chocolate? Especially chocolate with alcohol. Can never go wrong with molten brown. And some lucky few even got some Tasha products. And at last was the task of filling all the bags, wrapping them up nicely, and getting them packed into my brand new Antler Brixham luggage. Thank you guys so much for joining me for yet another vlog, and stay tuned for when I'll see you next time in the French Alps. Luxury, baby. See you soon.